Hello, welcome to uh, another vlog. I thought it was about time to do an update. Uh, today I thought I'd show you something that um, I use. I don't sell this, so I can let you know where to get it. But what I want to do is just use this uh, videos as some of the things that I use actually that uh, help us with managing sort of pain and, uh, oh, well, the symptoms of uh, the chemo, whatever. If you're in pain, it's just not a nice place to be. So here's something that I found helped a lot. Now, heat packs are great. Uh, what we I used to do before is actually, we get a, a flannelette cloth and we'd put a, a poultice on it, which is either uh, castor oil or uh, some herbs or something, and you put it into this uh, pack, then you have to strap it to your body, then put a heat belt pack over it, which is a uh, Probably, you know, one of those uh, barley warming up in the microwave, but they only last for a few minutes and it's fantastic, but it doesn't last that long. And then I came across this. Uh, absolutely amazing, to be honest with you. Um, what it is, this is the, this, this is uh, a flannel sheet that is covered in castor oil, already soaked in organic castor oil, which is the best you can do. Uh, oh, you gotta zip that open. Then, what's, what I find interesting with this, what's really, really, really useful, I tell you, uh, <laughs> quite exceptional, is you get, uh, well, you get a good little information booklet. I just use it, <laughs> which is good. Anyway, what you have is uh, an adhesive patch. And I'll t once you take that out and shake it, this will stay warm for about eight hours. And what's pretty awesome with it is uh, there's a sticker on the back, you peel the sticker off. I wasn't gonna use it right now and I like to keep this for an emergency and it's been good because I've had a lot of issues with the chest and a lot of pain in that area. So I get the castor oil flannel and you stick it onto this because it's a sticky thing. You stick it onto it <coughs> and then you put it onto the part that you want. Normally I've done the bottom of my lungs, because that's where I had pleurisy, and the collapsed lung. So I just attach it to that. So it sticks just like that, and it will stay warm for about eight hours and let the castor oil just absorb into your skin, or it detoxes actually, so it probably takes poisons out. But the beauty is, uh, I find it very good. And I've also got a, I haven't got one here to show you, but I, there's a double heat pack, which I have put two when I was really tight up here um, from, uh, well, it's from the, the tumours, tumour load, they call it. The tumours, there's eight tumours there, and uh, anyway. <coughs> it can be quite painful, so there's a twin pack where you drop it into a belt. You put it on like this, strap it around you with this little Velcro belt, and it can stay all night or all day very, very comfortably. And the heat, it's just that beautiful, to be honest with you, it's almost, I mean, the heat is just amazing. And I just sit there and just feel the warmth of that. And the castor oil is great too. So you feel, really feel that uh, drawing it out. So anyway, just thought I'd let show you this because it's a, uh, yeah, it's been a lifesaver for me. And it's, it's a great, let's have a look at this flannel pouch that I was telling you about. Opening everything up here. Like I said, I try to save these for a bit of an emergency because I really do use them for medical relief for, for relief so I don't want to I would like to just open it and plaster it on and then tear it off later to show you but I am keeping it for I use it actually too I've had a couple of bowel blockages which have been pretty horrific experience and the pain is exponential I've just never felt anything like it and I've had a lot of surgeries and a lot of stuff going on but anyway the bowel blockage where you intestine blows up and they're worried it could explode. The blockages from my small intestine to the large intestine was attached in when I had my rectum removed and, and part of my large bowel removed, uh, large intestine removed. Then they rejoined the large intestine to the small intestine. They had to stitch it in through a hole. Oh, you see a nice little scar there, a hole that I had in my side. So anyway, they put that together and, uh, and that's where it can, you can get blockages. And not just that, sometimes you can eat and you can just feel it banked up there, you know, it's just trying to get through. So it's a bit of a tender spot. 
So putting a heat pack on that and feel the warmth through that amatosis join. And anyway, you could probably correct me, but you know, with this join is uh, to have a heat pack just sitting there, just here, ticking away after you've eaten a meal. Try to have the right food, you've got to chew it up well, there's a whole lot of stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's a great stuff. So it's called Cheyenne. So let me have a look at the website just so tell you all this and then not tell you that you, where you can grab it. Like I said, I'm not selling anything, I don't get anything for it, it's just purely, hopefully, for your benefit. Um, okay, here it is, www.shyanne, so it's S-H-I-A-N-E, shyannewellness.com. So if you go to www.shyannewellness.com, you can order your pack, you can order a whole multiple of packs and you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to spend this five minutes, oh, I've gone over at six, <laughs> five minutes just to tell you about... Uh, Something that's, that's really helped me a bit. So uh, anyway, my update <coughs> is I've got scans in a few weeks coming up. Bloods next week. Have them every three. <coughs> um, yeah, so I've got a few more tests and analysis coming up. It's my analysis time to see where everything is at. And uh, I always go in there and just expecting, believing for, for good news. So uh, that's coming up. Uh, just about next week I start round 20 of chemo. I'm on chemo break right now from 19 to 20. There's a week's break and that's where I am now. Week's break, let's go and party. And, uh, and then next week I start round 20 and people say to me, how long, how long are you supposed to be on chemo? How many rounds? Because I'm doing round 20. And the oncologist told me, and I don't focus on everything they say, but he said, you'll be on chemo for life or until it stops working. And I said, okay, that's enough negativity. I said to the oncologist, tell me, tell me one, I want one really good news story. What can you give me that's positive? And the oncologist said, well, there is one lady who's got multiple tumors and they've frozen, sort of stayed the size they are. I want mine to reduce a little bit. They're a bit big. Anyway, they've stayed the same size and she's still on the same chemo regime for 20 years. Now I'm 60 in a few months, six months, whatever, I'm 60. So, you know, 20 years and she's still going strong with it. I said, that's the good news story. Stop there, that's all I need to hear. Thank you, uh, and, and, and out I went. So, you know, uh, yeah, he might tell you some of this bad news, which he does, and they're good at doing that. And I know they have to, don't get me wrong, I'm not having a go. But you don't have to take it all on board and feel swamped by it turn around and say, okay, that's bang, 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 there's the bad news, I wanna hear, bang, 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 I wanna hear some good news, and that's why I jumped in with this story. And he's got some good stories, he's got some great good news stories. So whenever you hear and get told negative stuff from your doctor or your oncologist, uh, anybody going through this journey, ask them and just say, just before I go, can you please give me a couple of good news stories? They've got them. This guy, the oncologist I'm seeing, has actually written a book on people where tumours have vanished with, for no reason, and he's written a book on it. So I've been trying to get the book and I can't get it, so maybe I should ask him. Uh, give me one, give me one. So always ask. There is a good, there is always good. You've got to look for the good. You've got to take hold of the good. You've got to um, run with it. So anyway, that's my little episode today. I just wanted to show you something that really helped me and that I use and it might help you, uh, which is why I do this, to be honest with you. It is also about you and and because uh, this is a, it's a horrible journey to go, to go alone and you're not alone. And uh, so anyway, I hope this has helped. Please subscribe. Enjoy. Um, I'll do another one soon. I'm feeling pretty good. So I thought I might even do a little cooking, little cooking demo that I find is a, a little sauce that I make that is normally quite delicate and difficult and I've got a nice easy way to make it and it's extremely good for you. So uh, hold on tight and I'll come back and I'll, I'll do this uh, cooking demo for you. Okay, thanks again and cheers for now.